afternoon or evening or wherever you might be in time and space give me us back for episode 30 after being bit by a radioactive bird somewhat manner T. Tidal feels compelled nay possessed to become Kinius the sky dude oh man what is the word I'm looking for stupid another word ignoramus uh rookie that's too mild a dumbass yeah yeah words of that nature sum up yours truly a yep Oh, let's go uh, wake up our pilots. Get them back in their planes. Hello, Hurricane. Hello, Iceman. Hello, Goose. Hello, Bulldog. And there at the end, even though that doesn't look like me, the dumbass. Yeah, better make it three. Coffee. Yep. Better make it three. Yep. Okay. So, why is yours truly uh, stupid? Ignoramus Dumas. Well, I'll tell you. Here, let me get my mouse organized first. This, this is one of these mice with like, oh, it's got the monster cord, you know, but the monster cord, it was a gift. So look, uh, it is what it is. Um, it's got one of those monster cords, but they're so inflexible. Like if I put it anywhere, like here, set it down at move. Look at it. Just, it just, no matter where you put it, the cord will like make the mouse slide all, all over the place. It's been wreaking havoc on the camera view. But that's not the reason why yours truly is a Dumas. Uh, let's look at today's uh, cover art. Livery and let die. So what did we learn as a rookie that yours truly completely forgot yesterday and blamed it on the, uh, blamed it on Neofly for being bugged and ended at the transmission early yesterday? You were watching yesterday, the end of uh, the episode yesterday. I just couldn't get Neofly to work, right? But what did we learn in the first week of using Neofly? That, for whatever silly, silly reason, delivery matters. Let's come up in here, okay? Right, so 
I'm using a Grand Caravan. These are all the same plane. It's just different paint jobs. So you would think, well, what does the damn paint job have to do with anything? Why would that matter? Just, get, just pick the caravan and go, right? No. Neofly's got this stick up its butt for liveries and that the liveries have to match. So what happened yesterday is I was, uh, the title of yesterday's show was Indecision, and I'm trying to decide what to do next. We're over three million bucks. It's like, what's, what's the next milestone? What's the next goal? And so I started looking at different planes to see what, what is the next step up from here? You know, what's going to carry the most? And it might be the DC-3, but I can't find any for rent in Neofly. Anyway, so moving around, right? So pulling up different planes yesterday, looking for the, like the DC. This is what I did. I typed in DC, and I'm like, oh, yes. DC-3 Classic. Douglas. Ah, yes. And we were checking weight and balances. Ah, you know, if I put in like this much fuel... You know, which is short, short runs. You know, how much cargo capacity can I hold? And that's pretty impressive. 5,738. That's 772 pounds of fuel, which would allow us probably to do a run. But who knows how much dang gas those two engines are going to eat up, right? Okay, so then we would go back and I would say, okay, well, let's go back and check this plane and that plane. And then I... uh Went back to the caravan, right? And I selected it and I looked at the weight and balance and I was doing my uh, cross comparisons. And I'm like, okay, well, let's get back in there. Hey, Paul's here. Let's uh, show off a little bit, you know, show off for our buddy. And um, so I picked the caravan, closed it, came over here yesterday, back into Neofly, and uh, make sure I don't have anything loaded, right? So I, I closed a job. When you close a job or open a job, you usually get some sort of audio transmission from Li Liara, Liana, whatever her name is here. Your head, your dispatcher, right? So if let me remove this job. Right? And I'm like, well, where is she? She's not saying I have unloaded anything. The thing must be bugged. I must have bugged it somehow. Let me try to get another job here. Let me uh, make sure I'm selected. Up to jobs. Find one that's not too too far. Like this. Um, Twenty thousand bucks to CO nine oh. That's really close. We'll take that. And when you click this, normally, again, you get an audible, let you know that uh, it's going to be loading the crap onto your plane. So I click it, and I'm like, what's going on? It's, it's, it's not bugged. It's bugged. It's bugged. It's uh, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Well, now I'm going to have to reboot everything. I tried restarting it. I restarted the simulator. I restarted the uh, Sky for Sim. The Neopad thing, which I need to launch right now, as a matter of fact. Start the server. Can't see that. It's okay, though. Started up everything, and I'm like, Psh, no, nothing's working. I even flew the dang flight. I, I flew the mission just to see if maybe it would unbug it somehow. Now, and I'm like, well, dang, I might as well just reboot everything. It's, you know, and end the transmission here and try to figure out what the heck is wrong with this stupid program. This, this stupid Neofly, I'm sick of all the bugs that it has in it. I'm just so sick of it. This is probably my last day of broadcasting in, as a Sky dude. I'm, I'm just so over it. It was delivery. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And I knew that in the first week, you know. 
that it's your livery has to match with whatever plane it says that you have. But I had forgotten while moving back and forth that I clicked off when I came back in here that I clicked off this. I didn't select this livery. Right? So we're supposed to be at KCOS. And I like starting down here. It's just easy access to the runway here without taxing forever. Welcome back, Captain. Well, listen to it that. Looks like the weather is perfect for <clears throat> flying. Transporter from dispatch. Good morning. The sensitive cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft in the parking. Remember the Bugs Bunny cartoons when he would do something, Bugs would do something stupid in his head for a moment would Air turn. Air crew, be advised, today's fragile cargo is being manually handled onto the aircraft at the customer's request. All right. Manually handle it. Uh-huh, manually handle it. Hang it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Okay, so in Bugs Bunny cartoons, when Bugs... Would Flight crew, be advised, the fragile cargo looks extremely delicate. We have secured it the best we can. Please taxi with caution. Okay, we got it. Are you done yet? So when Bugs would do something stupid and realize it, Bugs Bunny's head would turn into a, a jackass? Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. That's all it was, just delivery. Uh, okay, we're gonna get started, but I've been talking for almost 15 minutes to getting this intro done. So let me um come over to do 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 do. Uh, do I not have it up? I do not. Okay, in the YouTube studio where you set up your live streams, unless you're setting up through OBS, you when you do live streaming on YouTube, you set up through the their studio, right? And they have these buttons in here that I've been looking at and I never have never really used them. And now I'm, ah, I'm looking at them and I'm going, oh yes, I understand what these are now. So this button here, which you can't see, it says insert ad, create a highlight video, add stream marker, and then share, right? Not like Sunny and share, like share it to Twitter or whatever, Facebook. But the button that says insert ad, I can control when the breaks happen. So normally when you're setting up for a live stream, there are these options on there that are like, do you want YouTube to automatically set up chapters and set up where the ads go and this and that? And no, because I want to, because now that we have music and I want to kind of run Sky Dude and kind of imagine that I'm still a DJ kind of have that DJ thrill going on. I want to control my own ad, so I'd break it 45 minutes after the hour, at the top of the hour, 15 after, and at the bottom of the hour. Standard radio procedure, right? Now it's the time. Take a short break. Play a commercial. Say hello to everybody, and yada, yada, yada. So I can do that. Like right now, because I've been talking for so long, it's time for a commercial break and station identification. So stand by. So anybody who's watching the live replay, chances are they might get a commercial there and then they're going to see this and then they can hear me say, hey, welcome back. You're watching Kinius, the Sky Dude on YouTube TV, episode number 30. Welcome back. All right, we're getting started now. So let's kick the tunes back on. We're listening to country right now. If you have any other uh, requests, you want to hear something else, some pop, some reggae, some ska. I don't need a man. And just let me know. Hey, I'm open to anything. I don't mind. All right. We're going to get going, and I'm going to get all my pilots working, and we're going to look for a DC-3 and see if any are available today. Chicken. 
and hogs and cakewalks and bow hugs and podunks back in Oklahoma. Well, the truck stops here and I'm glad to be near my home in Oklahoma. So tonight I'll pray that tomorrow's the day I'll be waking up back in Oklahoma. I used to pray for the day I could Jump start and truckers' wives back in Oklahoma. But the fancy lights dim, and I started missing them back in Oklahoma. So I pointed my old Pontiac toward that little country shack back in Oklahoma. Satan's hell back in Oklahoma, where the honky tonk pickers have got the brown bag their liquor back in Oklahoma. At the Saturday night fish fry, that jug will send me sky high back in Oklahoma. But when Sunday morning comes around, you'll find my Digging onions and taters, frying fat back and tomatoes back in Oklahoma. They got moon pies and knee highs and women with beehives back in Oklahoma. So I don't need your champagne. Keep you watching gold chain. I'm a retiring back in Oklahoma. So I don't need your champagne. Keep you watching gold chain. I'm a retiring. Colorado Springs Ground Kineas 2-1 with India Request Taxi for takeoff east and departure. Kineas 2-1 Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 17 left. Contact tower on 133 decimal 125 when ready. Taxi hold short runway 17 left Kineas 2-1. Colorado Springs Airport Information India 2000 Zulu. 
Oh, nice little instrumental there. Music provided by Pretzel. If you need live stream safe music, then Pretzel is it. Transporter, have a nice flight. Keep the cargo secure. Colorado Springs 
Springs Tower, Kinias, 217,400 feet for touch and go. Kinias, 21, Colorado Springs Tower. Altimeter 30, SL05, wind 142 at 10. Fly left base runway 17 left. Kinias, 21, wind 142 at 10. Seven left, Kinias two. Colorado Springs Tower, Kinias two one. Cancel landing intention. Colorado Springs approach, Kinias two one. Is type Cessna caravan five miles east of Colorado Springs, seven thousand eight hundred feet. Request clearance to transition, Charlie airspace. Squawk 4153, Kinias 21. Squawk 4153, Kinias 21. Kinias 21, radar contact, 6 miles east of Colorado Springs, 8,200 feet. Cleared through the Charlie airspace, Kinias 21. Kinias 21, contact Colorado Springs, approach on 1. Charlie Oscar Niner, zero traffic, Kinias, 2112 miles, northwest, 9,100 feet, inbound to land, runway 35. Stop right there for a second. It's the top of the hour, and that means it is time for a commercial break in station ID. You are watching Kinney as the Sky Dude on YouTube TV. The, the origin of Kinney as the Sky Dude on YouTube TV. We are heading to CO90 Bullseye, or one of them. Uh, see, just CO90. Short little run, twenty thousand dollars, which is nice. And we're already. That's how close it is. That's lovely. Twenty thousand dollars for just a short little hop like that. That's what I'm trying to get all of my people to be able to do. And let's uh, they they're doing short hops. Let's see if any of them are ready to go again. Hurricane has already done hers, so she's the first one to land. She's got enough fuel. Oh, what? Oh, do we not have her take off? That's why she's done. We didn't even have her take off. All right. Well, the other guys, let's see how they're doing. Goose is landing. Iceman is cruising and Bulldog is cruising. So they'll be done in a minute. And we're already here. Uh, pretty much getting ready to go into the... Uh, into the traffic pattern. So let's lower this. Don't need all that prop. Don't need all that speed. And we're gonna turn off the autopilot here and uh, I didn't even need it. Because here we go. All right, back to the music. Great music today.
Hey, how you doing? Thanks for stopping in and checking up on me. Well, if you've been here before. If not, just, hey, how are you doing? Give me a serious guy, dude. Well, trying to become one. Doing this, uh... Neo Fly 4 career add on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It is a grind, let me tell you. But it's starting to get kind of exciting now that we're up into the caravans. We can actually carry some heavier cargo loads and make decent money. You're going to be sad until you get up to something like this. But it's the journey, as they say. Oh, you left. Well, that's too bad. I'm just gonna ask, how you doing? Hey, hey, how, how you doing today? Transporter from dispatch. Go to the parking so we can check the cargo status. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. Yeah. 
Transport from dispatch. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's nope. done. Nope. The devil, he don't care. He don't care at all. They're all still working. All right, so that was a, a nice little run. That was a little bit... I thought that was a good landing, but obviously not. I heard some crunching. Hopefully the people are happy. Well, I'm glad they're happy because that... I heard some crunching noise when we landed down. If you, if you run the uh, tape backwards... And listen carefully for that on that landing. As soon as I touch down, you hear this, this crunching noise. I think that means that some of the cargo may have been damaged. But you know, we still got paid. Maybe not as much as we <laughs> as much as we uh, expected. <laughs> but I haven't bothered ever really calculating it. As long as it's in the ballpark, whatever. I'm happy. All right, we need another job. Well, well, first of all, we need to top up a little bit. It was such a short run. Actually, we don't. Oh, uh, no. Wrong flight. Um, maybe just a touch. All right. And a new job. And KFCS is wanting a lot of stuff today. 22000 for a run to KFCS, can we get it? No, how about this 19,001? No, is it frozen? Come on, wake up 22,000. Come on, laggy. Ah, we can. So, 22,000 just to run over to KFCS, that's just on the other side of town. Woohoo! We'll take it. So, get that going. The cargo being loaded is documented as fragile. Please take extra care, especially when wheels are on the ground. Uh, I better turn this back down until they're finished loading. Transporter from dispatch. Loading sensitive cargo. Please stand by. I'm so sensitive. The altimeter has changed to 3009. I will do that now. 9, 3009. And let's check the weights. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off. Really? They want us to max, huh? Man, we're heavy. Okay. Might as well just max it all the way out this time. Okay. So now we need to... Uh, let's get rid of that. Don't need this in the way anymore. This back up. And it doesn't really matter. We're departing west. Charlie Oscar Niner Zero Traffic Kinias 21 taking off runway 17 West departure. You know what we haven't done today is we haven't checked with Steve. He's our AI pilot and he has just been messing up badly. I don't know what's going on with the AI pilot. Maybe his informal uh his unfamiliarity with this plane I don't know but he has a horrible time and he uh, botches taxis and he's been botching landings and it's all over the place but see how he's doing today he doesn't seem inclined to immediately get us out of here all I'm asking him to do is taxi right at the moment see if he comes alive Steve are you here today would you please respond Steve there he goes. He's trying to figure out how to taxi. He's like, but you had me going down to runway 17. Now I have to turn around. Like, stuff. That's how I feel with him these days. I mean, normally he's just like the greatest help you could ever have. And lately, no, it's now it's like I'm terrified every time I turn him on. Yeah, now like this one, like. I'm telling him to taxi to Roma 17. He's just coming over here to, yeah, I'm going to go hang out with my friend. Yeah, he's my friend. I'm, I'm. He's supposed to be taxiing. That's, that's what we just told him. 
Charlie Oscar Niner Zero Traffic Kinius Two One. These, these are my friends. I need to go. Forgive me. I'm not making it in fun of anybody in particular. I'm just giving him a silly voice because he's silly right at the moment. Ah, these are my friends. So he's kind of a bust right now. All right. Well, you know what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. Ah, well, let me slow down a little bit. I'm afraid to turn him back on now that we're down here past his friends. If he'll get us to the runway while we, uh, Go check on our other, our other friends. Hey, if you're into Dungeons and Dragons and you want to know what uh, Baldur's Fifth Edition is like, uh, Baldur's Gate Three is like. I am now live streaming that in the evenings. I'm up to like episode four. Well, I've done a lot, but I haven't gotten very far. For as much as I mean, it's loaded. It is not. And there's just so much more coming. We they just haven't even scratched the surface of what's coming, and there's just so much to do. So for four nights, we've just been grinding away on that. Right. All right, before I take off, yeah. Um, since those other guys are really close to getting uh, either landing or getting their jobs done. Let me uh, check on our crew before we go, and then I'll switch the music back on. What time is it? 19 minutes after the hour. Time for a, a commercial break in a station ID. So I'm adding in my own uh, markers and um, spots for the YouTube advertiser to place their advertisements. If you don't, it does it automatically. So this way... Um, I control when the ads play and I can make little markers for myself and I can do a little station ID thing and act like I'm a broadcaster again. So welcome back. All right. Um, back over here. Who is done and ready to go? Goose is ready. And he needs a touch more fuel. Keep things safe. Let's hopefully find him another... Come on, 20 grand, man. 20 grand for the goose. We got it. 21 grand. And it's only, a tw again, 20 mile hop. I love it. Keep them coming, dispatch. All right, Iceman, are you? Let's uh, go back over here. Iceman is ready. Touch more fuel. Come on, 20,000. If everybody can do 20,000 on a 20 mile run, we're making way over 100,000 in an hour. I mean, we're 3,581,000 at the moment. All right. Uh, keep it short. Check the distances. 18, 18. The only 20s are way down here in the 30 mile an hour. There aren't even any. There are no 20s. Let's start at the top again. 17. An 18 for a 22. That's probably the best bet. A little bit more. 19, 21, 2. Yeah, that's probably the best option for Iceman right there. Best bang for the buck. All right. Uh, Bulldog is ready. Definitely needs some fuel. Kind of pushed at that time. All right, 17, 16, 17. I don't see any 20s. No 20s. Yeah, there's a 21, but that is 33 miles away. He's got enough fuel this time. But when you could do like 17 on a 19. And save, you know, sometimes it's like, well, for that 21, you're flying that extra distance 
Let's just go, uh, let's just take, uh, no, what, he can't carry that one? What? So the weight, that's weird. The weight on this job is heavier, heavier than the 21,000. All right, we'll set him up for the 21. All right. What's up with Goose? I thought we had him set to go. He must not have clicked to go. And Hurricane is taxing to parking. Bulldog is disembark loading and embarking. Okay, he's going. I want to hit, I guess, just sit here for another second or two. Come on, folks. Time is money. Come on, come on. Do, 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 do. Well, let's set it uh, so we can turn on the autopilot and then we'll keep an eye on him. It's just across town, though. It's kind of like this last one. It's just going to be no time at all. AFCS enter enter and let's go yeah I'm gonna go ahead and turn the music back on you don't need to hear me Watch your landing. Two zero. 
Bay airspace. Little after the bottom of the hour, you were watching Kinius the Sky Dude on YouTube TV. Dean. I've been so close to love before. I always knew love could be more. Always wanted one love. That was true Then I found you I knew right from the start I found 
felt it in my heart You were all I was thinking of I felt a burning love There's a fire in my heart that burns so bright Can you see the light in my eyes? There's a fire in my heart lighting up the night With the Missing for so long You're in my arms Where you belong Building a love That feels so right Keeping the fire Burning bright I knew Right from the start I felt it In my heart Now you're all I'm thinking of I feel a burning Ah, dang good tune. The music on this app is so professional. I love it. On a cold winter's evening in a bar room in Kentucky, I went in to hear the band and find some winter heat. They were playing Charlie Daniels, sounding mighty fine. When I looked out on the dance floor, my heart skipped a beat. She was out there by herself, she was dancing all alone. Her boots were made of gator, and her hair was black as coal. My heart was a mess, she looked so sexy in that dress. I knew I was in trouble at that backwoods water hole. That was a harder landing than we like to see. I hate You're kidding me. I had to make a play. Taxi to parking Knew and I shut down your engine. But when she burst my bow, I should have left that honky tonk. But I made my mind to stay. When the band was down at break time, it seemed like a good time. To introduce myself to her that lit my heart on fire. Well, I think the bartender knew I wanted to befriend her. He just shook his head, and I started to perspire. I took a whiskey to her table. I sat down right beside her. I said I liked her dancing in those gator boots she wore. She looked at me and took a drink, but never said a word. I felt a rush of cold air. Coming through the door I knew I was in trouble Should have left there on the double I should have, but I didn't I had to make a play I knew I was in trouble But would she burst my bow? I should have left that honky talk But I made my mind to stay Well, next thing I remember Her eyes were looking past me Turned around to that table, looked out at the dance floor. He was six foot six and angry. I made a quick decision. I grabbed my hat, made myself a beeline for the door. That's the end of this story about a barroom in Kentucky. A local honky tonk 
just a smoky little dive. I went in for a drink, I was hoping to get lucky. But by the time I left, I was just glad to be alive. I knew I was in trouble, should have left there on the door. I should have, but I didn't. I had to make a play. I knew I was in trouble, but that gal burst my bow. Should have left that honky tonk, but I made my mind. that you left about the change in your plans left me on the line the phone's dropped out of my hands and I thought about your soul your angelic ways but these are dark days so I don't feel like me when you're not around my heart is growing fond and all the absence that I found All right, one moment for commercial break and station identification.
we are taxing and so far steve is is taxing us i've been uh, over here trying to uh adjust the graphics a little bit where i came in here and tried something so this uh, this monitor supports an amd feature which allows us to I'm not sure it seems like it allows us to bump this up you know and go for like 4k hk whatever 100k and then it's supposed to shrink it back down uh i need to turn on this mode for just a minute here so that i can see Where is it? Ah, I can see our screen. No, I don't want to do that. Do 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 do. do. Just trying to get it to right where it needs to be. No more, no less. Pretty darn close right there. Okay. But also with this on, do to do to do. Oops. Let's turn it back on. We need to turn this off. Then we can turn this off. With that on, I don't think we're supposed to, we don't need super sampling. Some of these other things. It's at 100. Bring vector data, that's good. Recaching, let's turn that up. You can see the buildings today. We have a really clear sky. So don't want to skimp on that today. We have very little clouds, so don't really need that. Uh probably skimp on this a little bit. Super sampling. I don't know that we need it when you're up this high resolution wise off see what happens still might need that with this resolution any shadows contact shadows light shafts don't really have any today don't really need it depth the field and uh, we'll just leave it where it's at off 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 and let's see okay good didn't have to restart it's probably a good idea that we do but All right, one moment. We go back to the AMD console here. Advanced. I hi. Sampling. Do, 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 do. One more. 
moment. Let's try this now. That's render scaling. We're up as far as we can go there. Let's see what happens. Turn that off. We are going to CO4. We turn him off or he's going to take off. I don't trust him. Stop right there. Whatever you think you're doing, mister. All right. We are going to double check here. CO90. O nine O enter enter great all right check our people ice man's ready to go for another job twenty three oh at twenty two miles. What a lucky dude. Good job. Nice. Okay. That was easy. Goose. This one short. Take it. No. 10, 19, 21. Take it. Good money. Bulldog. Twenty six. No, nope, can't take it. Too heavy. Fifteen. Seventeen for the same distance. Eighteen for the same distance. Take it. On your way. All right. Back to the music and let me check where we're at here. E three. All right. Well, I'm gonna skip the top of the hour advertisement and marker. We'll just go on through.
Another wasted day, another wasted night, wasting opportunities, I'm wasting my life. Wasted my breath, telling you my dreams, cause you don't care. Wasted the moment that we share Looking in your eyes It's like you were there And I wasted money on your pretty face And it seems there's nothing that I won't waste Another wasted day Another wasted night Wasting opportunities I'm wasting my life Wasted a dance with some other girl, whiskey on ice, I'm giving it a swirl. And oh, no, now I'm wasted, I'm sitting on this stool, I'm wasting away, I'm a devil fool. Another wasted day, another wasted night, wasting opportunities, I'm wasting my Nice tune, James Davies. Well, I've been down, driving on this winding road for way too long. And every sign for the past 200 miles is pointing home. Myself rolling into town. I can finally roll my windows down. I gotta get back to that fresh air. I'm tired of spinning my wheels. Should be standing in the sun, and I know I'll find my own way back there. Back to where. Of a Chevy van. But I can't find no one who look me in the eye and shake my hand. The fog is thick then, but the air is mighty thin. So when I get home, I just sit back.
on this winding road for way too long. Every sign for the past two hundred miles for me. All right, a little off the top of the hour, you're watching Kenny the Sky Dude on YouTube TV. Episode 30, Livery and Let Die. Boy. No, I'm not all you made me out to be. I've committed acts that hopefully you'll never see. It's a place I won't ever let you in. So do me a favor and don't bring it up again. Cause I burned every time I think about those days. And all the time I wasted on feeling that way. Don't look in back, I guess I see I. Everything about you still makes me burn. No, I'm not all you made me out to be. And this image you created it will not be with me. I told you once, don't make me say it one more time. Favor and don't cross over that line because I burn every time I think about those days. And all the time I wasted on feeling that way. No, I'm looking back. I guess I see I lived and learned everything about you. It still makes me. I might be able to erase and everything I embrace. I'm still so bitter from this taste. My footsteps I won't retrace. I just let it go. Especially that spicy Mexican food you make. Woof. Ah, uh, woof.
Eat. Turn, baby, turn. Do do you stand by right there making sure things are going good they don't look good um i've been messing with the graphics and i think i went the wrong way and turned things off that i shouldn't have i don't think it looks good at all personally but this isn't a high-end machine i'm just trying to use the uh the enhancements that the amd card provides to scale up things then scale them back down before you lie or you know, or something like that you're allowed to set things really high and then it's supposed to scale them down but i turned off some things down here do 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 do, do. i don't really care for the grass and bushes that's for sure This is set to the high in the graphics card. Might as well do that. This I, I turned off and I probably shouldn't have. You're not supposed, it says you don't require it when this is set uh, with the other things set, but it doesn't look right. Things don't look right. Must restart flight simulator. Let's do that. It's time when we restarted the thing anyway. We go back and we'll, we've got to monitor our, our men, so it'll just take a moment. Mm, main menu. I would really like to be able to get better graphics out of this, even if I have to lower the, the FPS down a little bit. Try to make this as good looking as possible, not only for myself, but for you in particular. I know that when I'm watching something and if the graphics aren't all that, I, you know. I'm a graphics kind of guy. I'm really looking for eye candy sometimes. Let's quit to the desktop and restart the thing. 
but and uh, I'm also monitoring it on YouTube to make sure that that it it's streaming right and it's not laggy and, and that seems to be fine. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on that here. We need to do a backup over here. I haven't been doing it, and that's not good. Got to keep an eye on that. So hurricane's ready to go. Two oh nine. We do a short one. Twenty one for nineteen thousand, you just twenty four for an extra hundred. Yeah, no the weight's too much. Well then we're lucky we get that one. So we'll take it and consider ourselves blessed. Because we're now up to three million six hundred and seventy and we we're just down five hundred uh Three million five hundred. So yeah, just bringing it in today. Another thing I thought to do, it might, and I don't know how many pilots you can have. Maybe there is no limit. I don't know, but um, I wanted to. I I rented. I, I rented. I hired some more pilots yesterday. And then I wanted to get them caravans and or DCs, and there weren't any. So that sucked. I blew a bunch of money recruiting them and then just had to get rid of them. All right, getting the simulator started again. Back in a place over here. I think it's interesting when you... um. I don't know what monitor size the European monitors are. Okay, but when you just naturally stretch and shrink, you grab the corners of an application, right? When you're stretching and shrinking an application, you grab the corner and you get the arrows and you can shrink it, right? As small as it can go. That the, the natural, um, how do I say this? The natural state of the simulator when you shrink it, right? Not just hitting the minimize button, but once it gets in here, let me let me demonstrate. It loads up, I'll get the arrows to minimize it to the size that I want. Hope you're having a great day. Today was one of those days I got lucky. We had a, a nice transportation job here in the real world for me this morning. And so that's paying some bills. That was pretty good. Um, but I need all the help I can get right now because the they're not coming thick and fast. Everything that's going on and transportation and supply lines and, you know. So my job is barely holding on. And uh, I might have to find something else. You know, which isn't a problem. I mean, you can find something else. But, you know, I'm happy with it. It's been doing great. And when, when it pays, boy, it pays really good. Kind of like this. You do a transport job, and that's a, that's a good day's worth of pay. So, um, but anyway, it hasn't been great lately, and it's been diminishing, and da 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 da, -da. And so, you know, I still want to have fun and still want to play my games, and uh, I'm now monetized again. After 14 years... Thanks, YouTube. That's a long story. It's a long, long story, and it's sad. But I'm monetized again. So I could, and I've got to rebuild. I used to have 10,000 followers, and now I'm just down to a handful, just the bare minimum, <laughs> really recently, to be able to be monetized. So please, please help me out. <clears throat> please, I don't want to say keep the wife off my back, but let's just say please keep the wife happy. When I go in and I tell her, yeah, I picked up another subscriber today or a, uh, another like today, then she's like, cool, keep going, keep trying. And we need to keep her saying that because the moment she's like, look, look, that's just not cutting it at all. It's not going to give it up, go get something else. Right. And, you know, hey, that's fine. That's fair, too. 
but I'd really like to keep doing this, folks. I really like this. I miss broadcasting, internet broadcasting, internet DJing, and um, I miss, you know, always playing games. I mean, who doesn't want to play games? So please like and subscribe and uh, keep Christine happy. And I'd really like to keep doing this. And um, when this is done, like I'm doing Baldur's Gate at night and uh, Manor Lords is coming out and City Skylines 2 is coming out. And I still have Rome Emperor Edition, which that's those are marathons. <laughs> Playing Civ, Civ 6. So I've got other stuff that I want to do. Uh, I haven't been real creative, haven't worked on any music videos in a long time. I should try, try to get back to that. That would probably do better than the live streaming and gaming. Uh, so we'll just have to see. Either way, I really, really want to keep doing this. And you're the whole key to that. So if you happen to hear this part of the, the live stream, you are the whole key to any potential success I'm going to have. So please, 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 please like and subscribe. All right. Goose is uh, ready to go. And we're going to be ready to go here. I've got more wonderful music from Pretzel coming up. Finally have live stream safe music. And it's been wonderful. This is the end of the first week. Well, it's the start of the second week using this program, this app. And so far, no problems at all with YouTube. And that's beautiful. It is worth its weight in gold. But I am also paying for that. So it's like what I'm paying. <laughs> this one's worth it, though. To have the music is just is is so nice. Okay, Iceman. Don't need that much fuel. Try to keep these really short. Try to keep is the the bare minimum amount of fuel in these planes. This is just my thoughts on the matter. It's up to you how you wanna you wanna do it and what distances you want them to travel, but the less fuel, the more cargo, and the higher the pay. And so if they can get by doing these 20-mile missions, I might even start cutting it back lower, but they've been cutting it close. There's a 16 at 22. I don't really like going over 30 miles on a trip. Oh, that 16 pays. So let's see what the 17. 31. 16, 8 at 22. And so it's just a tiny bit more. So we're going to take the hit there, but be safer. So again, keeping your fuel as low as possible for your own personal missions, personal jobs, and for your recruits. So 173. I haven't tried going below 200. 222 is, you know, like the minimum where I've been at. All right. 17,000, and he can do it. 17,000 at 31 compared to 17,000 at 19 miles. No. We're doing... The 19 miles. So that's nice. All right. Now we are at CO90 and need to respawn in there and check out how the graphics are doing and make sure everything's fine here in YouTube. So CO90. I did discover you can take a job and then come back out to the main menu and set the thing up as an IFR. I'll show you that here. Why don't we do that? But I, it's normally when I take a long one up to Denver or something. Let's put us in parking. And the go. Hello, pilot. Let's see what's on the books for you today. Ah, yes. Let us books thing. Okay. So. 
see if we can find one that is kind of far. PLIC. That one's a good distance. That's uh, 43 miles. Let's see if they got one that pays. There's 19,000. Yeah, and that gives us a 43 mile jaunt. So that good enough for me to try to show you uh, an IFR or what I mean by that. All right, so I'll set the job up. Okay, always remember if you don't hear, as soon as you select a job, Oh yeah, let me check check YouTube. Make sure it's streaming good. Transporter. Loading is complete. Let's go. It looks like it is um playing just fine on YouTube. Okay, if you don't hear uh, Alana or whatever, you know, her name, um, I think we can probably tighten it up a little bit more and back out to graphics. If you don't hear her, something is wrong. And that was the whole problem with yesterday's show. Not even at 1280. 11, 12, 88, 729. I'm the sharpening up. Okay, so if you don't hear Alana kick in, once you select a job, then something's wrong. And that was the whole problem with yesterday and the whole title of this show today. You know, livery and let die. So I should know better by now after doing it this long, for the last what, three weeks now, that delivery matters. And so yesterday, I freaked out blaming the... Uh, the application because no matter what I was doing, I couldn't get dispatched to, to talk. But I ignored, I thought I was in the right livery. So that's my mistake right there. I assumed, and you know what they say about assuming. All right, so livery is very important. So in the game, in or in the simulator over here, it does say in the sim, this thing. So look up here, I can't zoom in. But that's my character slot at the moment. Um, and it shows that I'm in a Kenmore livery. All right. If I go to the, uh, the hangar, okay, it says livery, Cessna Grand Caravan, Kenmore livery. And so by messing with weights and checking things out at the main menu yesterday, I toggled off this to the standard livery and that's all it was it wasn't the stupid neofly app it was me which is typical okay so we have the job and i think we're all loaded now i should have been paying attention because i said i wanted to show you this specifically let's get our weight set Wow, that looks all blurry now. What's up with that? This has got to be something I've done wrong with the AMD card. One moment. That's another thing. We're getting there, though. That looks a lot. That's looking better. This is looking better. Enhance the application settings. Then super sampling back on. Turn on that. Turn back on anisotropic filtering. And leave the textures there. All right. No, do we have to start again? Well, we'll do it after. after. Shh. 
Because now that looks like crap. Hard for me to read that. Come on. All right, so we need 2,195 pounds still. And we're going to need more fuel for this since it's a 49 mile jaunt. Hopefully we can get over 300. Nine miles. Yeah, it should. All right, let's see how much. Now we got to get this to match. 185 pounds shy. 217 plus. Lower it down. Three. That's so touchy. I wish we could type this in. All right, so that gives us a little bit of a bonus, and now it leaves us with more fuel we can get just to be safe. 50 more pounds. That should show there. Yep, 353. Okay, so we're, we've set. Got our job set. We've set in here. And we're going to KLIC. So let's go back to the main menu. Okay, so you're at uh, CO90. And LIC. Okay, then set this to, I mean, we could leave it that way, but set it for an IFR. We could set whatever we want here runways and see what they have here direct what are the runways we have and the wind was blowing from the south earlier so we'll set up for our nav 16. it takes us out there and then brings us back okay so this uh now if we hit fly and we go back in respawn Okay, so they kick in, so you know everything's still working. Transported from dispatch. Good morning. The sensitive cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft in the parking. Transported from dispatch. Loading sensitive cargo. Please stand by. Okay, reloading the cargo. Before I click in, I'm going to let them finish loading. Because I don't want it to have any problem with potentially, it hasn't so far, but I don't want to have any problem with engines being on while loading and that messing up anything. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off. Okay. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Looking good on YouTube. Great. Good, good. Okay. Shouldn't need that anymore. And now I can open up the YouTube studio again. All right. So now that we're back. In here. So now it should be set up. See? It should all be set up in our GPS for us. So that's set to GPS. If I open up the flight plan. 
There it is. We're already set. Now, on a good day, you, you know, you, the autopilot is going to do most of the work anyway. But because it's an autopilot, I believe Steve will run it. So if if he works right, and on a day where he is working right, this is like the ultimate and cheating. Just he'll handle everything. He should be able to take off and fly it and land it. But he's been having lots and lots of problems. Um, little bugs here and there. Like right now, not keeping it straight on takeoff. And... Transporter, good flight and land softly. Right? Okay, so... He also keeps that well he's taken off so Denver Center Kitty is two one is at six thousand six hundred feet climbing one zero thousand feet. Kitty is two one Denver Center altimeter two nine decimal minor two continue as planned. I don't know why it's not showing us the flight plan though. Oh, we, I see it there. I don't see the two, so it's just flying directly. You see this? So it's showing the... I don't believe we have to activate anything. We shouldn't have to. He should be doing it. It's a suspended. Well, I'm going to keep an eye on him. He's flying out to the point to intercept the GPS. And if he makes his turn, then we're all good. He's handling the, the flight. If not, and he passes it or does anything weird, just switch him off and turn on the autopilot anyway. Right? So let's do that. Anyway, test it. Turn him off. Turn the autopilot on. Put it on nav. Put your yaw damper on. Um, let's set our altitude for nine. In there. And do a flight level change and drop it down. We don't need it to be. That way we can lower the, the rev on the engine. See, he's been redlining it the whole time, too. He doesn't care. He's like, I'm going to get there. But he did have the conditioner in an engine. Uh, he was saving us fuel. It wasn't open all the way. So let's uh, lower the RPM. Don't need a red line anything. And we can slow down a little bit. We can even... They say that this helps fuel, but I haven't noticed any fuel efficiency dropping the prop. I really haven't. 
I haven't noticed any increase or decrease in fuel efficiency lowering prop. But uh, that's an academic discussion that I'll need to, to research some more. Okay, now do we have to activate anything. Now it's flying straight to that point, I think. Oh, they want us to 10. Okay. Oh, because we're doing IFR. Let me put the pitch back in for power. <laughs> After telling us to go to 10, now they want us at 7.5. Okay. You say so. You know what we're missing now that we're back up in the air? That. Don't go starting to say goodbye. We just start. On the road ahead, let's get started to live. Cause we've seen trouble ahead and trouble.
He's trying to stall again. The autopilot did this test the other day. Well, I had too little power in there for a moment. And now it's climbing like mad. It's not going for... Right, exactly, we are. Yeah, you do have to pull back on the throttle a little bit. <clears throat> but obviously I had pulled back way too much on the throttle because... All right, let's just do a vertical speed this time, not do flight level. And put it into... to a thousand right now get down get to the chopper <clears throat> all right uh where are we we are four 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 15 minutes left of this live stream well I want to make sure we land. That's, and then I'll end it. I want to see this thing. There's still. Uh, we're trying. 15 miles. And then it's supposed to do. I don't know if it's working or not. It should be entering in here. R A R A Y. This silly thing. Fine, what are you gonna do? Activate vector for final. Hmm. That's what we want. Oh well, I think I Kind of boshed a little bit. I'm going to try to make it come into this RA, RAY point and then try the seek once again. I think that's where it was supposed to go to begin with. Uh, they have been upgrading and changing and changing and upgrading and changing the, uh, the Garmin systems. So, to these NX systems. So, I might have to take some refresher courses on the flight planning. I thought it would have went here first. One, two, eight, decimal, three, seven, five, it was just shooting straight for the runway, or it was. Center, I'm not certain. Maybe it was shooting shooting for the waypoint, and then gonna come back. Probably was, just four twenty or something.
I don't know where BETHR is. I don't even see it on this. I would have to pull up the, um, which normally you should do is go into Sky Vector and pull up the, the chart for it, and then I probably would. We have time for one more song before we get out of here. I keep messing with it.
Guess we got a few more than just one more song before the end of the show. All my mucking about with this. Running out of fuel. Another decent show. Nothing really went bad on this live stream except for me watching this all up at the end. We're at three million seven hundred and ninety-three, uh, almost three hundred or more thousand in just a few hours. So now starting to rake it in. Want to see if uh, still looking for some DC threes? That'd be nice. I really want to try try one. Ah, there's a DC-3 for rent. That's the first one we've seen. How much is it to rent? Two million to rent? Really? Really? That figures. That's a real drag, man. That's a lot of cash to drop. So, not right now. I don't feel comfortable dropping that yet. Okay, let's check our flight plan. All right. Autopilot has us back on course for a touchdown. That's Christine calling to let me know she's on her way. Well, hello. Okay, we'll drive safe and we'll see you shortly. All right, bye. Bye bye. So Chris is done. That's why we wrap things up right around this time every day when I'm doing this. And that gives me a chance to run in there and you know, do some little domestic things to make her happy before she gets home. And then figure out what to do for dinner. And then I'm back at 7 o'clock tonight to do Baldur's Gate.
ましょう Yep, now I'm just gonna call it in manually and put it down. Hurry up so we can call it in. Lord, please just hurry it up. We'll just call it in manually. Get her on the ground, please. there Two million dollars to put a down payment on a DC three. And then twenty six million to buy the thing? Come on. That's just ridiculous. I mean, come on. If those are even similar to the prices in the real world, that's just that's just stupid. It's a rich man's game. They don't want people flying. That's why. In my opinion. It's definitely a rich man's game. It's dum da dum dum dum. That's what it is.
Ooh. That was dumb. Oh, I misjudged. <laughs> I totally misjudged that. I wonder how much damage I did to the plane. He was drinking Bud Light. Bud Light. Yep, I did a little bit of damage to the to the hole there on my flying today. I like this song. I've been I'm starting to get I'm starting to recognize some of the music now.
Now nah, we're going to pause right there. That's it for today's show. Uh, I have one more guy to do. Then we're out of here. Get Bulldog set. 3,886. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. That's a little too pricey for me to want to get one of those DCs. But, man, can she carry like an extra 2,000 pounds? So that would uh, start making, a, you know, playing the market, trying to find cell phones and stuff. That's where some of the big money is supposed to be. But right now, you know, some of those don't even pay um, compared to what we're making just to do standard runs. So, do, 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 do. how about that? How about that? That way I can run off and do my stuff and come back and check these guys and keep them, uh, keep them running until about 7 a.m., 7 p.m. this evening. And then I got to start the Baldur's Gate show. All right, so thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please like and subscribe. I will, uh, uh, chances are, I'm not sure what's going on in the morning yet, but no matter what, I'll be back for at least tomorrow's afternoon show again. Every day this week, trying to live stream every day, and then uh, do the night stuff. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in.